Hey guys, welcome back to The Sims 3 University Life. Look at it, we've got the college degrees on either side of the bed. Cause it's something you could do. And now all that's left is to figure out this forbidden fruit and plant sim business. So let's see what we can do. Water in the garden. It's nice animations, I don't know. It's like the first sunny weather we've had in a while. I feel like every day has been thunderstorming or something crazy, which is nice. Yeah, we need handiness, apparently, for the science oh, career. Kind of oh. forgot about that. <laughs> but it could come in handy. <laughs> Didn't mean for it to be the same word like that. That's weird. Um, also kind of weird the way it fed it. Anyway, we got to find a seed. We know one is supposed to spawn right here. You know what? Let's cheat. There's the collection helpers. Click away! Get this thing up. I don't remember how much the collection helper costs, but yeah, control clicking right here increases it by, what, 500 points a piece? Slower than that other thing I did before, but that should be enough. That's like way too much. Age freeze potion. Yeah, there's all this crazy stuff. Food replicator. That's nice, but cooking is fun and quick. Yeah, there's some interesting lifetime rewards here, but collection helper is the best. So that's what we want, because we can use that to better locate these seeds. So it goes in your inventory, that's right, and then you find it, and then you'll like it. Collection helper, and you can set it to whatever you want. And in our case, we want seeds. Fish is useful if you're a fisherman, or it's even useful in Island Paradise. I think you can set it to find sea life, too. Which is nice if you're a self-employed... Diver. I might do the Island Paradise stuff. I don't know. I haven't really decided yet. Because this takes a while. I'm trying to do an average of 30 minutes per episode. And uh, the actual file, though, that I have to edit down is usually close to two hours long. With all the loading screens and things. The front load is super long. So it's a slow going let's play and I don't know if I could promise daily episodes. Right now I haven't posted a single one. Um, and I definitely can't subject myself to just doing this and only this every single day. In to ensure daily uploads. That's ridiculous. But let's get some seeds. All these little apple icons when you have it selected to seeds. I don't know Sunset Valley though. I don't know which clusters are the rare ones and which area just has common things. What are you? Yeah, gene splicing experiment. Oh, it's a lettuce seed. Well, we'll grab it, I suppose. Or, nah, actually, let's not. Hold on. Unknown uncommon. Yeah. I honestly don't remember which one is the forbidden fruit. I'm going off of something I read on the internet about the, the spawner I put in the front yard. Apple seed. Johnny apple seed. What are you? Why won't it zoom in? I'm pushing the wheel. What the heck? Uh, okay, the game's running like crap, apparently. Unknown rare seed, wait. We can't do anything with it, too. That's promising. That means we're not high enough skill level to do anything with that, which means it could be what we're looking for. Buy a hot tub worth at least $10,000. Sure. I've never actually done the collecting stuff. There's wildflowers, too, which I don't think serve much of a purpose other than to go around and collect them. But like, I've never messed with that. There's also space rocks and things. It's a way of playing this game that I've never really fully explored, because I guess it's less interesting <laughs> than some of the other stuff. Uh, should we grab more? What's, what's over here? This open world is crazy. Hey, unknown uncommon, yes! Alright, we are back from the handiness class. Gonna have him read Cooking Volume 3 on the bed while we figure out this gene splicing stuff. Mm hmm. We have two uncommon seeds and one rare seed. I don't know what this does, so we better do the one where we have a quantity of two in case something bad happens. Because, yeah, I'm going in kind of blind. I s sort of read some things, but it seems kind of confusing at the same time. Sure. Apparently, doing this gene splicing, you're somehow able to create the seed for the forbidden fruit. But it's not 100% guaranteed. And supposedly, the higher your science skill, the more likely it will happen. 
but I have no idea. This is an interesting thing. A Kona bean seed. Well, that's... I feel like I just downgraded it. Uh, well, see, then they were saying that you could even do it with just regular any seed, like a lettuce seed. A tomato. We've got peppermint seed, too. That would be crazy. It's interesting how university life has changed the gardening, too, because theoretically you could just grow only herbs and have, like, a rebel household because there's nothing more rebellious than plants. What? Who's trying to talk to me? Somebody's at the door. It's very strange. What? Uh-oh. We failed. Well, at least nothing happened. It just said it got unaltered. That's better than, uh, completely destroying it, which I think is possible. I'm afraid to do it to the rare seed. Yeah, we need to be level 7 to plant this rare seed. That means it could be what we want. Hmm. Let's plant this one, though, because I'm curious. We could do something with that lettuce seed, because we could plant it. See, I don't know, like, this is the dilemma I always have, is you could cheat or you could not cheat, and sometimes it's fun not to, but then you're always tempted to, because it takes forever the non-cheating way. Let's fertilize it with life fruit, because it's outstanding. Like, see, I could debug this plant and just see what it is right away instead of waiting, but I don't know. A seed! A seed has spawned! It's an unknown rare seed! Let's pick it up. I've got these two socializing because somehow, living in the same house, they've been neglecting each other. That seems to happen every time I play this game. I start getting too wrapped up in what each individual sim is trying to achieve, and then I forget to socialize and stuff. But that's alright. So, this will net us a couple rare seeds now. But there's still the issue that we can't plant them. Yeah, so now my question is, what is her gardening skill? And how far along is she in it? She's level 5. Okay, we gotta work on that. Look at that salmon. That looks good. I love salmon. I got a question about it, though. You know how, like, the, it has the brown flaky part on the bottom and somehow sort of in the middle as well? Are you supposed to eat that? Because in restaurants, I do. I just scoop it all up, and it's delicious. But other times, it tastes weird, like you're not supposed to eat it. And I remember the first time I ever had salmon, my dad made it for me when I was still a kid. And he was like, yeah, you could just scrape that part off. Almost as if you weren't supposed to eat it. But I don't know. I like salmon, though. Look at that. Wow, what's with it? I can't tell what that is. Learn the fishing skill he wants to do. We might be able to do that. Kick it up a notch. I don't even know what that does. I guess I'm high enough in the cooking skill now that that's an, an option with all meals. Yeah, what is that next to it? Rice? Cucumbers? It looks like cucumbers. Maybe it's squash. Sometimes you have, like, those steamed vegetables that they serve with salmon. Mm -hmm. I like salmon, though. It's good. Oh, man. I forgot about the tri-tip tri steak. Let's do that. That's this dude's favorite meal. And she's still studying gardening and apparently just got money because it's leisure day. So we have paid time off. A nice thing that was introduced with the seasons pack. But yeah, I've had him go take a class in the fishing skill, and I've been- I filled this bookcase up with the fishing books and had him start reading the bait and stuff. But yeah, it is! Level 7! Sweet! Now we can start planting these seeds and get on with the objective here. Been doing a lot of other stuff. Which is just making the video longer, <laughs> so we gotta stop. Grow 20 fruits and vegetables? I don't think so, Tim. Let's go. Although, things are not met. Well, that's enough energy to plant two things, right?
Yes, we can make tri-tip steak. Sweet. I'm not sure, but I think that's the final recipe book that you can buy. Everything else that you learn, you just learn as you rank up. We're getting up there and cooking already. And we're still a young adult. Maybe I shouldn't have increased the length of each life state. The idea was because the children life state, it's like a week long. So they go to school for a week and you struggle to keep them on honor roll and like explore all the kid options. And then all of a sudden they're not a kid anymore. And it's weird. But usually one, whenever I do start playing with kids, I get bored really fast and then I'm done. And I abandon the families and start doing something else. <laughs> now, I don't feel like waiting. We could fertilize it. Fertilize with best fertilizers, yeah. But see, this is why it would be nice to learn the fishing skill, because... I forget what is the perfect fertilizer. I want to say it's lobster. Definitely not death fish. Maybe it is death fish, though, but I thought that killed the plants. I just know you need death fish, life fruit, and something else for the ambrosia, which is the thing that can turn ghosts back into humans. Which is a neat thing, but I don't want to wait for my life to be over. Or the Cartman version, I don't want to wait for my Trapper Keeper. <laughs> the things that stick in your head sometimes. What is it? It still is not telling me. It doesn't look like anything I actually want. Chamomile, or however you say that word, chamomile. Isn't that a Friends episode thing? On, it was Ross, right? He doesn't know how to pronounce it properly. I mean, I don't either. I always forget. This seems like a waste of time. That's not what we want, and this is not looking like it either. I don't remember what it looks like. Uh, no. I'm not gonna grow a great one. See, this is weird. Now... It's a bell pepper plant. Well, what the heck? How do you get the forbidden fruit? Why don't I remember this? It's something science-related. I know it is. Hey, wait a minute. Did I just see the pillow fight? It's there, finally. I've been looking for this. There was a couple days in the university I tried to invite Mika Moore over and pillow fight because I saw it with her and then I was trying to replicate it and it wasn't there. But this is kind of a neat thing. <laughs> I, yeah, like I said, I think this is Generations introduced this. I would assume... But it could have come with the university life. I don't know. I could picture both kids and college kids pillow fighting. But I want to say generations. It seems more like a child behavior. That's cool. I like the animations. A oh, neat little distraction for a moment. Okay. Do your little wish. She is at work, and I am bored out of my mind. Let's clean the shower, and we should probably try to assist in this seed finding thing. Because I'm kind of at a loss here. So, oh, he's already got 50,000 lifetime. I mean, that makes sense. I've been playing with him from the start. Is that enough? I don't remember what the collection helper was. Tell me, how much are you? Honorary degree, food replicator. See, the food replicator, I feel like, is boring, though, because cooking is the fun part. And if you just replicate it, I mean, it's a cool machine to look at for a moment, but then... Yeah, there's some cool stuff. I like the cloud and air thing, just shooting people with rain clouds. It doesn't do anything, though. It just, I think it actually makes them mad. The hover bed is good. It... I want to say it's the best bed in the game. Either that or it also recovers some of your other needs besides just energy. I know that's what the Motive Mobile does. But let's assist in this seed collection while she's at work. Because they're staggered again. He goes to work later. The question is, where are we going to find a seed that might be... Maybe over here and like, the, oh no, there's a lot. This lone seed, how much you want to bet this is a rare, there's two seeds. Tell, teleport me in my pajamas in the hail. Sure. Special seed, that sounds promising. 
And we'll just drop him off in the house, I suppose. And have her, when she gets back from work, pick him up. And either try planting it or science some stuff. Esther Atkins is starting to feel a bit ill. Uh-oh. We can control click it away, but... Alright, the seeds are on the floor. And he's about to go to work. Let's just go. I don't want to wait for the carpool. And his coworker thing is not super happy, so we'll tell him to meet coworkers, and then we'll cheat up that relationship so that it's perfect and he could hopefully get promoted. That's the idea. Speaking of promotion, I cheated their job performance and put it at 100 using the debug thing. So she's probably going to get promoted right now. $434 today. And there it is! Useless contraption manipulator. <laughs> Imagine telling people that's what you do. Yeah, I manipulate useless contraptions. I mean, in a way, you could say that's just taking care of yourself, right? Depends on your uh, self-esteem. But let's go home and eat the leftovers and pick up those seeds and then get going here. Take it easy at work. I'm not doing that. But that is a lifetime reward. You could. There's something that lets you slack off at work and take days off and they don't notice. Imagine if you could do that in real life. But there we go. She's got the seeds now. That's good. Good teamwork. It's all this basic need stuff. Hey, we've met Emma Hatch. Well, okay. That should satisfy. Let's become best friends. Just like that. Mm hmm. Did we just become best friends? There you go. Well, that's the promotion waiting to happen. Let's just make sure he works normal now. Because I think it actually does have to be on something other than meeting coworkers in order to get promoted. I don't know. All right, gene splicing. Let's figure this out finally so we can move on with. Whatever we're doing with these people. Um. Wait, why is there only on one? Wasn't there a special one? Whatever. Hopefully this, I don't regret this. Catastrophically failed. It was destroyed. Dang it. <laughs> After I just said, I hope I don't regret it. And well cried. Uh, let's just splice something else, because I know I read this, that you could just gene splice a seed. Peppermint, just a minor setback, thank you. Might have to delete some of these plants, I feel like it's too much cheating, and I want to grow a, uh, an actual thing. Let's serve. When he gets home, the tri-tip steak, the first meal. Now that she has discovered forbidden fruit seed, what will she choose to do with it? It worked! Gene splicing a peppermint seed has turned into a forbidden fruit seed. Wait! Okay, the internet was right. You could just gene splice anything and just... I guess there's some kind of weird percent chance. There, It is different. Wait. So everything I've been collecting has not looked like that. Let's analyze it. I think that's another science thing. Wait, where are you going? I told you to analyze it. You could also clone this. Wait, you, with the debug thing. Just hit clone. I think this works. I hope. Yeah, there's two now. That is a level 9 science option. Oh, that's right. They have to put it on a table to analyze it with something else. I forgot about that. Look at this little nifty gadget. It's weird to think that maybe one day in the future... This wouldn't be so weird, because everybody would have something like this. But then again, like you go back and watch really old science fiction things, it's funny to see. I don't know, like all the- I feel like older sci-fi things is just really over the top with like little ray gun type things. And so, that gave us a sample. That's right, I remember this now. I always thought this was kind of neat, though. It would be nice to play as a science major and do all this stuff. Yeah, we have a plant sample, so now... We could do something with that on the science machine. And these are the seeds, so we cannot... That's not the fruit itself. So what do we do with the sample? Research sample? 
by a water slide, that might be useful whenever we become a plant. Jeez, there's a loud car going by. Sorry if that gets picked up. I mean, in a game like this, maybe it wouldn't sound too out of place. Uh, this is not right. I think I need to be a higher science skill, because you could clone it. That's what you do. Yeah, clone from sample. I think you gotta be level 9. Gene split. Yeah, none of this stuff. I can't even select it on anything except for the research sample. Yep. Higher knowledge is needed. I think it's level 9 now I'm remembering. Which is crazy. You gotta basically max out the skill. But I guess it makes sense. Because you could scan other sims too. You could ask them, can I analyze you or something. And then you get a sample of their DNA and you can clone a sim that way. Whoa! Tri-tip tofu stick and we're a line cook now. That's so cool. We got free food to take home. I don't even have to make the actual steak now. Wait a minute. Let me see. Perfect quality, too. Well, that's nice. Although, you know what's weird about this? Is plant sims have no hunger meter. They just naturally absorb nutrients. So the hunger meter is crossed out. So we'll put that on the table. So pretty soon, it's going to be just this guy who's requiring normal food. Because she's going to be a plant and not need to eat anything. But maybe that's better because instead of serving meals, I could just have meals, and that only makes one serving. So then it's more cooking, which means more skill building. See? And then, of course, if we recruit that alien guy or start having plant babies, well, they're gonna be plants too. But see, that's what I don't, I don't remember if kid plant sims also don't have a hunger meter. Because I know aliens behave differently. Aliens are based on DNA, which is like a random number you can edit in the debug thing. And if the sim has a high enough DNA percentage, then they have alien powers. But it is possible that they could look like an alien, but not have any alien powers because their alien DNA, which is a hidden thing you can't see, is not high enough. Okay, we made breakthroughs. Yeah, researching samples doesn't do anything. It's just like a little nifty thing to help. Yeah, now the sample's gone, so I have to analyze another one. And we have to plant this thing, actually, too. Plant, plant, plant. Look at all these plants. We gotta get rid of some of them. And start growing a normal garden. See, this is the thing, though. Because normally, if you have a cook who's an aspiring cook, you get tired of paying for all the top dollar ingredients you need for the bigger recipes. And that's where your gardener comes in and grows all the stuff so you don't have to pay. And that's where the fishing comes in so that you can fertilize better ingredients to make better recipes. And... When you cheat, it kind of takes all of that fight out of it, I suppose. But it does give you outstanding life fruit as fertilizer. If you eat a life, life fruit, I think it reverts you back to day one of your life state. Or it takes a day off of your age. It's like a young again thing. Let's just cheat this thing. I'm, I'm curious. Talk to plant. Yeah, that's what uh, green thumbs can do. It's a little baby head sticking out. Yeah, this is weird. Again, what a weird game. Hang on, I guess it needs another growth state. There's the TV again. I chopped me barnacles. Is it done now? It's harvestable. Yes, okay. Hey, we just learned the tofu stick from the kitchen. Wait, shut up. I'm talking about the plant. Get out of here. So the thing with this is if you hit harvest or pick forbidden oh, fruit, oh there's a 50% chance it will produce a baby, but if you hit 10 garden, it just gives you the fruit in your inventory, which is what I want at this point in time. We're not ready for kids yet. Actually, it might even be 100% if you say pick forbidden fruit. No, I think it is 50% chance that it's a baby. And it, it is a clone of whoever picked it. Wait, it's barren? Yeah, okay, so we have an actual fruit now, so we could eat that and then in four hours become a thing. Why is this barren? Oh, because it's only a one-time thing. I got scared for a second that winter hit, because that's my fear, too. 
seasons makes fall and winter you can't plant anything Let's satisfy this hot tub wish that's been here forever. Let's delete this thing and get some money was worth of it. But we're making a lot of money at these promoted jobs now, so that 12000 or 10000 I think it's $12,000 for, yeah, one of these better hot tubs. We've got this one or the one that came with Seasons. I mean, why not use that one? It's bigger, though. Hmm. There's a debug hot tub, too, that has, like, a giant rock wall with things. That's a great spot for it. I think that'll work perfectly. I like when things accidentally come together. All right, enough goofing around. We gotta end things off and do this plant sim stuff that I've been talking about from day one. Let's eat this forbidden fruit. Oh, mm, mm. Okay, now that should have produced a mood lit, yes. Botan- bo wait, botanist minoris? I don't know. Four hours. You could go to the science lab and pay 3,000 simoleons to get healed of this thing. Or you can control click it if you're t cheating, but... Otherwise, you turn into a plant sim in four hours. Let's get in the hot tub. One last woohoo as a human. <laughs> Again, what a weird game. Why are things not working? I don't understand, like, the hot tub has been giving me trouble from the very beginning. Normally, it's, like, guaranteed. You select woohoo and it works. Every time. I don't understand. I mean, obviously, they like each other. There we go. Enjoy it. Because tomorrow, it's gonna be like a pricker bush. <laughs> oh, things are not right. We gotta get that alien over here. I think this is where we start to get real weird. With occult sims and stuff. It's... It's about to wear off! It's happening. The carpool for Bill will come in in about an hour. Yeah, when you get back from work, your wife's gonna be a plant. As you're walking home with that, something's happening. I see the thing queued up there. I think it takes a while for the game to load it. I think it randomizes the alpha and the colors and stuff. And that takes nine years, apparently. Any day now. Don't get struck by lightning at the same time. I don't think it's possible with something queued up like this. There it is! She looks insane. What the heck? We gotta we gotta edit her appearance. Uh just go to work. Stop napping. Okay. Let's finish the garden stuff though. But yeah, so you can commune with a plant. As a plant sim, you get other options of talking to your garden plants. I think you can accuse them of their mom being an acorn or something. I don't know. It's so weird. But yeah, she looks like a completely different character now. Oh yeah, and every footstep has little flower animations. Hopefully that doesn't make it run like crap. I've already had to reset everything once. Um, so, you can notice hunger and bladder are just not things. And you have the option to... Uh, photosynthesize if you're out in daylight. <laughs> Which makes you burrow underground, and it's like going to bed. You, your energy gets recovered. But it also puts, like, this permanent hole. I think it's permanent. It might eventually turn back to normal grass whenever they pop back out of it. But yeah, plant sims are actually a super easy thing. Because you don't ever have to worry about food. You don't have to worry about the bathroom. Hygiene becomes water, which is essentially the same thing. So it's really just sleep, social, fun, and make sure they take showers or swim, or otherwise get wet. <laughs> it's very strange. Okay, but this outfit is bothering me. It's mostly the hair. The hair is leaves. It's like a leaf texture. So we got to go to the mirror and the dresser. And we might have to actually go to create a sim using the debug thing to go back to create a sim. 
I forget, but there's the flower petals every footstep. So my idea is to just make her look like how she Not used to low. look. She was a redhead, right? I also don't know if you can change the color of, like, the purple leaves on her green skin. I know mermaids, you can change their scale color, but you have to go into a debug menu to do it. That looks very strange. Uh, maybe we should just go with her normal hair, which was one of these, right? Yeah, that was it, except I think she had a black bandana or headband. Okay, I think I got most of her normal hair back, so now let's do something about this outfit. Here it is, okay. So she's got a customize of these default ones. We've got red. Jeez, she looks like the elf from uh, The Hobbit. See, this is the thing, it gets a little bit too supernatural. If you want to make an elven princess, I guess you could. Oh, this is going to take nine years. Okay, that's what I'm going with. This is just, yeah, as normal of a thing. Aside from her skin, which I still don't know. I'm going to see if I can edit her purple leaves on her skin with the debug menu. Okay, I can't figure out the leaves, but this dude's back from work, and there's other social options as a plant sim. Um, wait a minute, what? Plant sim. Flower kiss to people that you like. It gives them a moodlet that's different. Which, if we click on him... It's this obsessed moodlet, plus, plus 15 mood, but there's also a poison kiss, which either makes them vomit or turns them into a plant sim eventually. Okay, this is the last thing that plant sims can do, really, aside from the poison kiss and stuff. If you try for a baby, if you make love to a plant, you will not produce a baby, but rather, if it works... Yes, there's the baby jingle. So normally a normal sim would get like a pregnant moodlet and start getting all morning sickness and crap. But we got another forbidden fruit seed. So you can infinitely make love to a plant and make a million seeds and plant a million babies. And that's The Sims 3 University Live, really. <laughs> so from here, I don't know what we do. We could either continue with the family. I'm not sure yet. I might take a break and stop doing daily things. But thanks for watching. See you later.